we're responsible for the drinking water for the entire county, uh, from Marine Land up to the World Golf Village area. Um, we have to make sure that it's safe for consumption and that we have enough volume to meet the day's demands. Our job, in a nutshell, is to provide safe, aesthetically pleasing drinking water. Maintain the pumps out of the system. We provide fire flow for the people of St. Johns County and all. We also do the samples like we have to maintain. They want chemical reports. We have to, eat, we have to mail them the chemical reports to their house. We do a lot of sampling for the water management district. I um, oversee that, make sure all that gets done. We use groundwater primarily in St. Johns County. So this particular area that our source water comes from for my particular plant is a lower quality water compared to some of the other areas. And that's why it's required to do a reverse osmosis treatment. And so some of the other areas up north, the county, the water comes out of the ground a little bit cleaner, has some different characteristics that are unpleasing to customers, so we, we take care of those and then send it out. Uh, this is basically an overview of how the facility works. You have some wells from a well field. That's our groundwater source. Uh, it comes into the plant. We dose it with a sulfuric acid for pH adjustment. We dose it for antiscalant to protect our, our membranes and then they are degasified uh, and that process basically takes out the hydrogen sulfide which is that rotten egg odor and that's not pleasing to the customer so we do uh, about 96 percent roughly of that removal here. It's uh, dosed with a sodium hydroxide which balances the pH. It's dosed with a hypochlorite which is what we use with our disinfection and we also add uh, ammonia, which is, makes it a chloramine disinfectant. It gets stored in a ground storage tank and then it pumps to the customer. We handle all kind of different situations. I mean, you have people move in that comes from, you know, other areas that's not used to this water down here. And I mean, we have to go talk with them and tell them the reason why. Mostly it's hard water complaints. We get the most out of everything. When you're down here, we, we pull um, water out of the aquifer, this limestone, and you're going to have hard, hard water down here in Florida. Well, there's, there's daily tasks that have to be done. Checking analyzers, making sure you depend on a lot of electronics, but you don't rely on that 100%. You have to go actually physically test water and make sure those analyzers are working properly. And those kind of things happen daily, but if there's water spewing out of the ground somewhere, you're naturally going to take care of that first. And then you fit things in as you can, but uh, it is a challenge to get it done, but we manage. It's very hard to plan for today. You can lay out a plan for today and it can change within 20, 30 minutes of getting to work. I mean, because things around here run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Something's going to happen to a piece of equipment or a well or whatever have you. Something's going to happen that day that, where it's going to lead you off in another direction. It's under that water treatment umbrella, there's always fires to put out, there's equipment failures, there's, there's a million different things that can go wrong, line breaks, and uh, one of my sayings is make a plan at 7 a.m. and it's out the window by 7.15. You're reactive as much as you're proactive. I mean, if somebody calls in, they have a water complaint, if, if it's after hours, if it's a bad enough water complaint, say, you know, something happened and they had a break, they got air in their water, they got rust in their water, our operator is called in, the operator is dispatched to go take care of it. We have to have a state license test that we take. We have three levels of tests. So you have a C license operator, a B, and an A. When you start out as an operator, uh, St. Johns County has a, a pretty good trainee program where young guys will have, or women will have an opportunity to come on as a trainee without a certification. And we'll give them up to two years to, to acquire that. I possess an A license operator. The minimum requirement is a C. So to run this facility or any facility in our county, we have to have a C license operator. The most rewarding part of this job is I do worry about this job. I mean, I worry about what goes on here, how things function. I mean, I used to, we used to run plants and I'd get up in the middle of the night and drive back in there and make sure it was still working right. It was just one of them type deals and I just had a passion for it. That's all I've ever done. And if we're doing our job, we're kind of invisible. So that's, if it comes on, you don't think about it. Nobody thinks about the water until there's something wrong. So when people don't notice us, that's the best we can do our job.